Just going to do a short update about uh, the week that went and the plans I've got going forward. Um, just keeping on track here. The 100 book challenge, I'm up to a whopping 13 books. And this is a challenge I started over a month ago. Uh, a lot of them are pretty short books. I guess that's not bad. Uh, Treasure Island, 39 Steps, Alone by Lauren Estelman, uh, The Age of AI by Henry Kissinger and some other guys, Decline and Fall of Western Civilization, Volume 1 by Gibbon, uh, More Books in the Valentine series by Lauren D. Estelman, Valentino series, Mystery series, Alive, Shoot, Brazen, and finish it up with Vamp. I'm all caught up on those, so uh, that was a good series. i got to find another mystery series to read now. Uh, I've got some options. Uh, originally, I was going to... I'm always reading a mystery series, at least one. I've got a ton of those Ed McBain's. Uh, and I think I've only read the first two or so. Those are pretty short. I'm going to pick on a... a I'm going to pick up on a shorter one so I can rack up some more numbers here. Then I read the Howard Andrew Jones uh, Sword and Sorcery novels, Lord of Shattered Land and City of Blood and Marble. Probably, And then I read for the uh, People April Challenge. I read a book by Elizabeth L. Banks from the uh, turn of the 19th century called Adventures of an American Girl in Victorian London. I have a review of that coming up in a day or two. I already made the video and I scheduled ahead. Also for People in April and also counting for the nonfiction prompt of Spring into Adventure, I read An Inland Voyage, An Inland Voyage by Robert Lewis Stevenson. I did a review of that that's coming up this week too. Mark your calendars, kids. I enjoyed both those books very much. In fact, so much that uh, even though I don't read that much nonfiction, I, I, I dove into another one that I just started. Uh, Elizabeth Gaskell wrote a biography of her friend Charlotte Bronte, The Life of Charlotte Bronte, in two volumes. I just opened it up to see what it would, what would it be like. Um, and the first chapter was so good. It's such a great way to open this story of the of the Bronte family, particularly of Charlotte. Um, I've heard that it's not that accurate, of course, but you know, it really doesn't matter with old biographies. You just read them for the, the literary value. Uh, Gaskell, of course, herself a famous, uh, well-known, respected Victorian novelist whose uh, fiction I've never read, so this is the first work I've read by her, but I've got some others on my dream TBR to read. So I'm enjoying that so far. I'm pretty sure I'll do a review on that when the time comes, so I won't talk about it too much. Um, what else am I reading right now? I'm gearing up for the... Oh, and I've got Captain Blood. Captain Blood by Raphael Sabatini. There's an exciting visual. Captain Blood, his Odyssey. Uh, I'm reading that for Rogers Chibol Book Club. That is the, whatever month we're in, April selection. And also I'm going to count it for Spring Into Adventure. That might wrap up my Spring Into Adventure adventures for a while. Because I'm very excited about another uh, challenge that's coming up in May. I've already, I'm already getting my TBR together for that. Here's MJ's announcement of it. Uh, horror, oh, horror Mayhem, 2024, May. Um, I'll link to that. Um, many people have announced that. There's a, there's a lot of hosts on that. There's a good number of hosts on that. Uh, so you might have seen the announcements other places, but I found a lot of books I want to read, horror books I want to read in May. The first prompt in the Horror Mayhem for the first week is to read local horror, horror, and you can define these prompts, of course, any way you want. Uh, I don't have one for that yet. I don't want to read any book about Seattle, where I'm from. I don't want to think about Seattle. I don't... Anyway... Um, 
So I thought I'd look for one, uh, a, a book, a horror book, either set in Albania or where I'm staying or written by an Albanian. I haven't found any through just Googling. If anyone has a suggestion, I'm interested. I would I would appreciate a suggestion uh, when I when I Google horror Albania or, or horror stories, horror fiction Albania. I, just, I get a, a bunch of interesting sites about various ghost stories, about various you know involving different castles and things and and that kind of thing. But that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Then I'm also for uh, I'm gonna also continue with Rogers uh, Chibo Book Club in May, which happens to be a horror title a book called The Beetle. You see that? Some other things I want to talk about there. The Beetle, and you can see Fritz Leiber. Uh, the Beetle by uh, Marsh, I can't read the first name right here, Richard Marsh. Um, so that's a horror novel, I believe, so I'm going to read that sometime in the month. I'm also going to read that Fritz Leiber book I see here, Our Lady of Darkness, which I think I might have read before. Uh, one of the other prompts, and I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to read um, Robert Louis Stevenson's short story, The Body Snatcher which I think I announced before, so maybe maybe this is all repeat information. Oh, well. Another one of the prompts coming up in for uh, the Mayhem um, horror event is to read something Hollywood-related, Hollywood horror, like the, some of the suggestions were like would be to read a novelization of a horror movie or something, but I found this book by Ray Garten, which I have, sounds like a nonfiction book, Sex and Violence in Hollywood, but it's actually a novel. So I've never read Ray Garten. Ray Garten, I have a ton of his books here that I got when Open Road Media, which is the publisher of them, a few years ago did a big giveaway thing where they had tons and tons of free ebooks, uh, and a lot of their big authors, and I loaded up on them, and of course never read them. So I have a bunch of Ray Garten books. I have a bunch of books by uh, a Western writer, Brian Garfield, that I got uh, free that I'm going to read, uh, that I'm saving for June on the range. I'm going to try and get through some of those. Brian Garfield, most famous as the author of the novel uh, Death Wish, which the movie was uh, based on, but he also wrote a bunch of westerns. Those look pretty cool to me. Now I'm already thinking I might not get to everything, but there's a book called The Ghost Pirates that is another older horror movie, I mean horror uh, book by What's-His-Face. Oh, man. Can't find the... The guy who wrote House on the Borderlands, who is that? Oh, William Hope Hod Hod Hodson. Then I'm going to try and read some stories in Edith Wharton's Tales of Men and Ghosts. Uh, I don't know how far I'll get in that. I'll try and read a few of them. Have I got anything else coming up for horror? So it um, looks like I'm going to really enjoy a horror month. I still I got to get back to History of Decline and Fall. Roman Empire, Volume 2. But this coming week, my goal is to read um, Volume 2 of The Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire and Captain Blood, and maybe get a jump on next month with The Body Snatcher. I'm also reading, in Spanish, I'm reading uh, the... Oh, I lost it again. Where is it? Uh, Jorge Luis Borges, Complete Stories in Spanish. That's taken me forever. I just read a couple a day. I have the audio book and I read along in the text. Uh, two, those are cool. I know those stories really well, so they don't really count towards any of my challenges, but I just enjoy reading them and they, they count towards my Spanish learning challenge. Like, that's it. I've got, like I said, I've got a couple videos in the, in the pipeline that are reviews of uh, a couple books and other than that I'll just keep reading <laughs>